hello family and welcome back so guys today's tutorial is about how to remove zip bulge or bum from a gown kindly don't forget to like this video and if you're here to subscribe please do let's get started and with me are two pattern papers which i'll use to illustrate how to remove zip bulge first then we'll practically show it on a dress later as labeled here is zip allowance and guys there are two ways in which a zip bulge can be eliminated that's why i have two pattern papers i want to just put one aside for now and focus on these here is a straight line that runs from top all the way to the bottom which is center back line before alterations so to begin it's on waistline where i'll do some waist snatching you can use one inch or 0.75 inches that will depend on how curvy one is in my case i'm measuring 0.75 inches inwards from original center back line and then a mark right there after that i'll just go in with a ruler and roll right from neckline to the mark then further to hip line by so doing we've snatched away all the excess fabric that forms a bump on waistline another thing guys you need to also shape allowance after alteration reason for this is to remove wrinkles that might also form the last thing to do is going in with a pair of scissors and cut along outer outline so guys we are done with the first illustration inner line is now new center back line let's jump to the second way of zip bulge elimination which is only applicable when the gown has two parts bodice part joined to skirt part from waistline what you do is repeat first illustration on each and here is what we've got and with that i'll just cut through waistline so that we'll be having two parts that is bodies and skirt part at this point before you stitch upper and lower parts together from waistline you'll need to do some alteration on bodies part measure 0.5 inches up from waistline like i'm doing then draw a line in that manner and it's from the line where you need to cut out then the rest will follow just as simple as that guys i'm done shaping bodice part i'll do the same with skirt part as well and here we go so in case you're working on a gown or dress that is joined from waistline you need to follow this second step and you'll be good to go remember this first illustration is used when gown or dress is one piece I'll now demonstrate using first illustration on main fabric. Originally I stitched zipper along this straight center line and this was the end result. Clearly there is a zip bulge so let's remove zipper and stitch it the right way. I'm done taking zipper out as you can see. Here is straight center line before alterations. So I'll go ahead and make some adjustment using first illustration. So now right from the straight center line. I'll measure 0.75 inches on drawn line which is waistline. My fabric is stretchy one so that's okay. Secondly, I'll measure 5 inches down from waistline. And once I'm done, I'll just go in with the ruler to draw lines from waistline mark all the way to the neckline as said earlier. And again from waistline mark down to 5 inch mark. And moving forward, I'll also measure 1.5 inches stitching allowance, then draw it in the same shape. And from there, I'll be required to cut along outer outline. <music> Having finished all that, I'll now head over to sewing machine to demonstrate how to fix a zipper step by step on drawn line. So guys, I have this long hidden zipper with me. Since it's a hidden one, I'll not be using a normal pressure foot for stitching but instead we'll use a special one which is one legged best for this kind of zipper. Here I'm putting it back in order to get ready for stitching. And I've drawn new center line visible on fabric's right side. So now we'll unzip it first. Then put it as I'm showing you along the drawn line. And after it we'll start stitching from neckline downwards. This special type of pressure foot makes stitching easier with not so much struggles. The first leg of zipper is in place. What you do from here is to zip it now. 
then hold your fabric together this time in this manner after that flip it again so that the neckline part goes towards bottom and bottom towards top if you understand what i mean by that from there pin the zipper on the fabric with your hands like that then stitch on top of it while it's still zipped this ain't final step since we'll need to unzip it again then stitch it the right way and stitching it the right way basically means unzipping and stitching right close to the corner as you try to spread it flat with your hand I'm done stitching both legs the right way. I'll then zip it a little bit in order to seal this space here by stitching. That's why I'm first replacing special pressure foot with the normal one. Then we'll again stitch like that. So guys, one last thing is to fold in zipper like I'm doing inwards. Then make a top stitch right there. Ensure you stitch forth and back like three times. Then repeat the same on this other side. Zipper is nicely fixed the right way. No more bumps guys. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Let's meet guys in our next tutorial. <music>